Howdy everybody, this is Michael McCarthy here. In this video we're going to be taking a look at using escalators inside Anima and uh, people movers as well. So uh, we're just going to set up a, a couple uh, quick escalators. We have this uh, scene with just a few objects that'll be easy to move our characters around and take a look at some of the different parameters that we can use there. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hop into Anima. <clears throat> so here you can see I have just this uh, default Anima scene. Actually this is a demo scene that ships with Anima. It's the escalator scene. So uh, if you want to follow along or something of that nature you certainly can. And we're just going to uh, add some escalators to it. I just deleted the stuff that was in here already but that'll give us uh, the ability to just add this stuff from scratch. So. Uh, if we want to add escalators, the first thing we should do is go over into our objects area here and just click and drag. So we've got a drag and drop escalator. We can kind of put it wherever we want as far as the base goes. You can see it drops into place in all these areas. And I'm going to just adjust this here. So I want my escalator to kind of be right over there. There we go. And I also wanted to kind of match the height here. So the nice thing is I can go over here and I can choose uh, different heights for this escalator to be just by the click of a button here. So I can see that you know 15 degrees is probably pretty good. Uh, maybe I want it a little steeper at 30 degrees and you can pick you know what what kind of angle you really want to work with. Now once you do that uh, Anima is pretty smart in the fact that you can see that you, you kind of have to adjust the size and scale if you wanted it to be at that 30 degrees. But if you grab this dot, I'm just going to undo here, at the top. Each escalator has a dot at the top, at the bottom, and it has a little arrow in the middle to tell you which way the escalator is going. If I click it, I can switch my direction. So I'm going to grab this end dot, and if I just grab that and position it here, basically what it'll do is it's going to shorten my escalator so that it is the correct height um, to fit at that 30 degree angle. And now I can just grab the entire escalator and move it into place. Now you can see right now the escalator is telling us it's not currently maybe working because it's, it's all red. But once we put it into place where it understands that we have a uh, point that meets at each end and we have you know, the correct angle, then we're going to be able to kind of position it there. So there's our little escalator there. And let's just uh, pop a couple more in. Okay, So I'm going to drag and drop over here. And I'll put this like this. I'll rotate it uh, this way here. There we go. And I'll just set that. If I want it to be a you know, precise value, I'll set the rotation to 90. I can do the same thing. I'm going to say a 30 degree angle here. You grab that end point and just kind of click and drag right there. And now I can move my escalator into place. All right. Now, you can see we want probably people, I don't know, we may want people to go up from either end and then just walk around here. Maybe we'd set up an area uh, for people to mill. Um, but that's not going to give them any way to get down. So I might have this one, you know, uh, instead of both of them, you can see both are pointed up. And I might have this one point down so people can actually get down from this area. So there you go, as simple as that, just kind of click there. Over in the properties panel, you also have the ability to click here to adjust which direction the escalator is going. All right, and now we have two escalators set up. Like so. And I can go in and just uh, press play. And you can even see them kind of moving. You can adjust their speed. Uh, which is really nice. So I can go in. Let me just uh, grab this one. And we got a speed set to 0.5. We'll set it to 1. Okay. So you can adjust those things. We'll just crank it up. I like a fast escalator. I like it to be. Oh, actually, sorry, the, the kind of uh, larger the number, the slower. So let's. Uh, this is how long it takes to do that revolution. There you go. That's. This is how I like to ride escalators. It might be dangerous, but that's that's the way that I roll. So let's set that back to 0.5 so that normal people can ride this. 
And the next thing we're going to do is just uh, adjust a path uh, or add a path to it. And really pretty easy to do. So let's go and create a path. Going to click here, click there, and you can see as soon as I get over to the escalator end, I get my little link icon. There you go, and it brings me to the end of that escalator. And then I can go to this one. So you can link as many of these as you want uh, together, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'll just stop it there. And now I can populate that path. So I'm gonna say, you know what, give me about 15 people. I'm just gonna use random people and say generate. And this is going to generate the people. We can kind of uh, adjust them and see them. We got a lot of people moving moving through here. So let's take a look at how they're doing. They're going to go up and cruise on to our escalator. So they'll kind of navigate in. You know, they'll do a little bit to step up, and they have a different animation when they are on the escalator too. And you can choose from a couple different animations. Um, or you can make your own or whatever it is that you want. So you can see some people are kind of just standing still. This gentleman here is uh, with his arms crossed. And when I go over, you can see escalator clip, male arms crossed. I can you know, ask him to be uh, talking on a balcony. And then if we follow him through, when he gets over there, uh, he'll have that type of animation. So he's going to be a little more busy, maybe waving his arms around a bit, uh, some things like that. So you can see people are kind of stopping to try and navigate um, and queue up for the line. So you can see him kind of talking and moving around a bit. Okay, so I mean that's the ins and outs of you know how you set up an escalator really pretty quickly here with Anima. Got a couple more minutes, so what I'm going to do is I want to actually set up maybe like a people mover because we have an option here. Um, when we click and drag out an escalator, you can actually set it uh, to this 10 or uh, you can set the incline degrees to zero. And when you set it to zero, let me just grab this here. All right, then we're able to kind of position this wherever we want. Okay, so you could have it uh, just see there it's very flat okay and it's gonna be an escalator for anything there so we do have a little bit of an incline here so I'm gonna pop that over here and then position this here actually we'll move those guys over there afterwards all right and we'll make another one that's kinda like this so they're going up this side I'll add this over here that's fine there I'm going to set my incline degrees to zero. Then I'll grab this and just position it down on the ground. So we got this here. All right. And there we go. So a nice little people mover. Maybe move that in a little bit more so it fits nicer. And now we have a couple of people movers. Okay. I'm going to uh, actually take this endpoint and bring it over. You can see uh, even if I have created a path I can link it like so and continue on. So here's another link. All right. And these people can go on and do their thing over there. All right. So now that we have these people kind of coming down this escalator and they're hopping on to this moderately inclined people mover. All right. This guy kind of had to figure it out because uh, he was starting over there. But they just smoothly go up the people mover. And when they get to the end, just like you do at the airport, and you know, you can maybe make one of those really loud, annoying uh, speakers at the end that says, you know, walkway is ending. So that people know not to trip and fall at the end there. All right. So uh, that's how you set up some people movers and escalators inside Anima. Pretty straightforward. A couple of the kind of drag and drop features of just clicking and dragging to link them up to paths and how to adjust your degrees. And then also, you know, how to go in here into the properties editor, editor and adjust some of these things 
uh, which is really useful too. Um, all right, so uh, another thing that I wanted to mention is next week, we uh, actually right on Black Friday, we plan to be releasing Anima 3. So uh, anybody who's checking out today's uh, live uh, kind of tips and tricks, you should uh, tune in next week. We won't have a live event next week because it will be Black Friday, but uh, there'll be a really cool sale with uh, Anima 3. And uh, that's going to be a really amazing release. Put a lot of time and effort into it. And uh, there's a lot of really great improvements. So you guys should definitely check that out and uh, see what's going on. If you go to our website right now, you'll see there's a little countdown to the release. And there'll be more information following about what's included with the release and things like that. And the weeks after, uh, we'll be doing some uh, live uh, tips and tricks with Anima 3 which should be really great, so please stay tuned for those. Okay, well, hopefully this helps you uh, creating your characters that need to go on people movers or escalators or other things like that uh, using Anima. Thank you very much.